we are assume that the output voltage we want is 20 volt and the current output current is 2 ampere so the output voltage is 20 volt and the output current is 2 ampere so the power will be output voltage into output current that is 20 volt into 2 ampere is 40 watt of power is needed at the output now what is the input voltage the input voltage is rectified from ac so this will be around 300 volt so the v in voltage is around 300 volt usually the flyback converter has a efficiency of 80 percentage that means 0.8 then the power at the input will be the output power is 40 divided by the efficiency will give the input power it is around 50 watt of power is needed then only 40 watt of power will be available at the output now we know that uh, input power we want is 50 watt and the input voltage is 300 volt so the current through the input will be 50 watts divided by 300 volt that is 0 0.167 ampere is the average current that is flowing through this primary now if we assume that the frequency at which the transistor is switching on and off is 100 kilohertz and the on time this on time is 0.5 half the time only it is on then time period is given by 1 by frequency that is 1 by 100 kilohertz that is 10 microsecond is the total time period that means the time which it is on and the time it is off is 10 microsecond if we add the both the time on and time off and as we said that the duty cycle is that means the time that the transistor is on is 0.5 that means 0.5 times half times of 10 microsecond that is 5 microsecond time it is on when this transistor is on the current through the inductor is increasing linearly like this and the average value we have already calculated as 0.167 ampere so if we want to calculate the peak value of the current as this is a triangle the formula will be half into the duty cycle here the duty cycle is 0.5 that is also half so 0.67 ampere this is the maximum value that the current is occurring when it is on for 5 microseconds now we know that the voltage across the inductor is given by V is equal to inductance into di by dt from this equation we can calculate the value of the inductance that will be L is equal to V divided by DI into DT here the input voltage is 300 volt divided by the change in current is 0.67 ampere that is happening in 5 microseconds so the voltage will be available across this transistor the primary of the coil will be 300 volt will be available for only 5 microseconds in that time the current has changed from 0 to 0.67 ampere so if we put all this value we will get the value of the inductance as 2.238 milli henry of inductance is needed at the primary now if we know the inductance we can calculate how many number of turns is required we can find the value using the equation n phi is equal to l i if we substitute n is equal to l into i divided by phi e can be written as bm into ac that means the flux that the material can occur into the area if we assume the area is 30 mm square now if we put all these values inductance value as we already calculated as 
2.238 milli henry and the peak current the peak current is 0.67 ampere and the this mm square is meter square then we will get this value and bm the maximum flux density is 0.36 tesla we will take half of this because we doesn't want to get the core to saturation so we will take the value in between this value so half of this value will be taken so this will be 0.18 if we put all this value that will get 277 turns is to be required at the input in order to this inductance now how we calculate number of turns in the secondary now in order to get the number of turns in the secondary we can use the input output voltage relation for a flyback converter the input voltage output voltage equation will be output voltage is equal to the turns ratio number of turns ratio into vi into d by 1 minus d where d is the on time and 1 minus d is the off time if from that we can calculate n this is the n the turns ratio that can be given as v0 divided into 1 minus d divided by d into vi if we put all these values as 1 minus d and d are both are half this will be cancelled that then the remaining will be 20 divided by 300 that means 1 by 15 the ratio will be 1 by 15 we have already calculated the primary turns are 277 turns are in the primary 277 1 by 15th of the turn will be at the secondary that will be around 80 turns around 80 turns we needed to produce 20 voltage of output voltage so this is how we can design a transformer for a flyback circuit